I, and we, as long as everyone knows people's biases, then there's nothing wrong with that. The prospect of the year is a fighter I think went largely unrecognized this year. We had him on the the program this week, last week, depending on when you're listening. Jesus Ramos Jr. He's been fighting on PBC a little bit inactive for how much I'd like to see him. He fought Javier Molina, a 2008 Olympian. Followed that up with a, a win over Brian Mendoza. Mendoza, I believe, is currently in Mario Barros's uh, training camp, sparring Barrios to get him ready for Keith Thurman. He's a he's a former prospect who had a tough fight with Thomas Lamana. I think he fought uh, Larry Hard Hitting Gomez or Hard Hit a Gomez and lost. Jesus Ramos to me checks all the boxes for kind of the next PBC guy who's going to emerge that's probably like a little under people's radar. I'd say he's in the same vein as a Michelle Riviera. I think he's a little bit better, but he's in that tier where I think they're floating underneath the surface and people aren't um, fully aware of him. Do you have any thoughts on Mr. Ramos? Yeah, I think, I think the problem with, with Jesus Ramos uh, Jr. was that, you know, people didn't quite know, where, where he was going to be competing at, right? And so he was coming up on the 147 welterweight, and then all of a sudden <clears throat> he switches to 154, and I think he's campaigning there now. So we just haven't, uh, to me, I haven't gotten enough of a sample size at 154 just yet for me to say, you know, this guy's the prospect of the year. I think we I just need to see a little more. I think next year, um, once he, he really settles into a groove at 154, uh, and he, you know, fights three, four five times, uh, next year, then he'll, he'll get the recognition he deserves at least, you know, on a, on a commercial, on a commercial level. I also think without like a catchy nickname, I saw the same thing with Jose Ramirez. When you have names like Jared Anderson even has this issue. That's why I think big baby is so vital for him. When you have names that are kind of like a lot of people have that name, I think sometimes if there's not a spectacular knockout, people just naturally overlook it. Like, oh, Jesus Ramos, eh, Jose Ramirez, uh, Jared Anderson. But if you're if it's Big Baby Anderson getting the crazy knockouts, they're like, oh, I want to see Big Baby. So I think there is, I don't know how to explain this better than this. I think when your name is a name people might have gone to school with someone, like in fifth grade, I might have been in class with Jesus Ramos there is a level of people looking past that person because they feel like they've known someone with that name. And maybe our inner hater might be like, ah, I don't want to fully know a, a Jesus Ramos that's really successful. So I think for these type of fighters too, you have to stand out that much more because people probably go in unknowingly a little apprehensive to go all in. And he has a great story too. I interviewed him and put, the, put an article out on New York Fights dot com uh, and you know he has a great story uh slightly by bi- i'm slightly biased uh with him his wife is a, is a active duty marine so you know uh i i guess he's got good good judge of character <laughs> but um you know he's he's gonna be right there i just think that with the weight class switch and him not being as active it kind of hurt him a little bit but 2022 is going to be his year he just to me, he reminds me just from the way he talks that the way he fights as the next Jose Ramirez. Like it's uncanny when I talk to him. I think that's why I'm so high on him. It's like I spent about a decade with Jose Ramirez. And now when I talk to Jesus Ramos, it's like, oh, I get to do it all over again. It's like the same, it's the same type of things. I'm getting the same feelings. What's up, everybody? It's your good friend, Lukey, and I appreciate you watching this video. Now... If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment with suggestions, which is the reason you're seeing this video. And also, if this is just a single video and you're saying, where's the full interview? Look at the upper left-hand corner and you can find the full interview or check in our video section. We're rapidly trying to improve this channel and it takes support from not just myself, but also people that enjoy the channel to keep me motivated and try to give you the best boxing content. Be sure to go to itrboxing.com for all of your boxing needs. This is Luke.